Hello and welcome to AutoInform online magazine, How To. In this issue, we'd like to look at the problem of injector removal. I'd like to explain what's happened with regards to our involvement in this process and how we've arrived at the decision we have to bring in a specialist. This particular vehicle was brought to us with a best described as an uneven, lumpy running engine. We conducted some pretty basic, it's common rail diesel Bosch system, conducted some fairly basic tests, one of which was a bank leakage test, which is conducted by checking the spill volume out of that port on the top of the injector. As a result of that, there was a considerable imbalance in the four injectors, so we recommended to have those injectors refurbished and then to continue the further diagnostics once that particular fault had been resolved that's when the problems began to stack up. Out of the four injectors, we managed to get two of them out fairly easily. One of them with a degree of difficulty using what I would call a fairly basic puller, which we have, uh, whereby we remove the solenoid and use a slide hammer, which screws around the top of the injector. We then came to injector number one, the one that we're actually dealing with now. And despite all efforts of further dismantling the injector using a slightly different puller, pulling directly on the centre of the body, suspending the injector um, using um, an engine um, hoist, introducing heat, application of various fluids down the side of the injector, it was clear this injector wasn't going to go anywhere. Face them with a the dilemma, if that injector doesn't come out, the engine scrap, or at least a very expensive repair process there on in and possible loss of the work. In fact, I think it was pretty much decided by the owner if that was the case, the vehicle uh, would have been, I assume, scrapped. Not wishing to lose the profit uh, or the opportunity of a repair, we then brought in Tony of AP Auto Diagnostics. His website also carries the same name. Um, with the special tool, so as part of this how-to, uh, I'd like to introduce Tony, who's part of our network membership um, and also a friend and leave his expertise to explain what he's doing, how he's doing it, and of course you can then observe the result. So I'd like to pass you over to Tony. Right, thank you Frank. This engine is suffering from one of what's becoming a very common fault these days, which is the seized injector scenario. This appears to be being caused by a combination of corrosion, uh, carbon bypassing the seal, and just general detritus going down from the top. Um, there appears to be concrete in the injectors into the engine uh, to an extreme standard where the only thing that will actually remove the injector is a dramatic amount of force. As you can see we've already set up the puller previously on the engine so that we can get a significant amount of force into the job. This puller uses a 10 ton ram and basically pulls in a very straight direct manner. This allows the injector to come out fairly easily uh, which can upset a lot of you guys because it makes the job look too easy. <laughs> um, and that is basically it. There, there is no sort of overcomplicated method involved. The actual injector itself you need to remove the solenoid from the top of the injector, being careful not to remove the spring and the calibration washer inside. Then you need to remove the internal parts of the injector, which, which then frees up a, a much stronger internal thread. This external thread on the injector is only very thin-walled, very weak, and is very easy to break off most slide hammers will actually use that thread and a lot of the injectors that I'm called out to have already got that thread torn off. Right, simple enough. We use the principle of hydraulics. So I simply, now, now the puller's all set up, I simply pump the pump, steady away, and the injector will slowly rise out of the engine. I don't know if you can see the gauge, but you'll see that 
this is taking on average about five tons of force a slide hammer at a maximum is only capable of actually applying approximately a ton and a half that loud bang that you heard was actually the injector releasing as it comes up and again once we get to the end of the travel on the ramp we just need to release the pressure take up any slack in the system and then start again this method or this work is actually repeated over and over again until the injector all the way out as the injector comes out the force required will gradually reduce to the point where the injector is out And there she is. One seized injector removed. It's just a case now of Frank's team clearing out the hole where the injector belongs, recutting the seat, fitting the new injector with a new seal, and job done. There you go, Frank. Thank you, Tony. Um, from our point of view, um, this decision should have been made a little earlier than uh, we did arrive at it. We tried our best. I think the lesson to be learned from for me watching this process for the first time is that in the short instance when these injectors are obviously tight, um, you have a choice. You can invest in the tools. They're expensive. They require specialist equipment and knowledge to, to apply. And often are uneconomic. Even for us, we are specialists. We would not consider buying this tool because we would feel that the, the opportunity of using the tool would not justify the cost and with the expertise of Tony on hand, um, this type of work is much better subcontracted. We can now get on with the repair. As Tony suggested, we're going to relieve some of the corrosion around the bore, recut the seats and provide four new injectors, and then we can get the vehicle back on the road. So my thanks to Tony, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, this month's how-to. Thank you.